Paint over chrome never holds up. What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. As you guys can see it, putting in work on a Sunday at the shop on the old BM. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys. So, someone's got to do it. You guys seen a couple videos ago, I picked up this 03 745i. I'm probably going to drive this one. I'm probably going to keep it. So, I'm kind of just going through it, you know, kind of assessing the damage. Um, I want to show you guys a little bit more intel. You know how you know how you look at a car before you buy it. You don't really notice things until you actually pay for it and then you start noticing oh man i didn't notice this crack right here or i didn't notice you know this damage right here or this scratch um notice a few things but i kind of just want to go through the whole car since i'm going to be driving it i am going to be keeping it get it done right and my plan on this one is to kind of finish out what the old owner started you know by murdering it out obviously you know they did the rims the trim around the doors um you know a few things they obviously tinted the windows blacked out the headlights the taillights probably got to fix that up a little bit but what i want to do is you know finish it off get the blacked out bmw badges like i had mentioned the 745i badge that's chrome get that blacked out um and you guys can see some of the damage here i'm going to probably just be stripping this thing down you know take the front bumpers already off take the rear bumper off I got the side skirts coming in. I did order a bunch of parts for it. Got a door coming in for it, but you guys can see, you know, the damage close up here. It's pretty dented in, pretty scratched. Definitely don't want to rework this door and have a bunch of Bondo on it. So I found a good used door. You can see a huge crack there. But you know, kind of just going through it, seeing what we got. Obviously, you guys see we pulled off the grill. Um, you know, they had this uh, weird great style grill on here you know with the paint just chipping away at it so i got a blacked out grill for it gonna keep it more oem style you guys can see i got the front bumper off but you know just getting in here detailing the engine bay seeing what we got seeing if i need to notice anything out of place or cracked hoses or anything that uh you know should be there but isn't and then you can see how dirty this thing was i got that side clean but you can see this guy's pretty much never uh you know washed his car all the crud in there and i mean this thing you know when i got it this thing was piled piled high with leaves and sticks and bugs in there but you know that's why these things rust up here you know people don't keep them clean it's not just salt that you know rusts away your car it's also dirt you know dirt and grime and all that stuff will eat away at the paint so i got this side looking nice cleaning up the cowl real good but just kind of running through it Got to put in the work when I can. You can see the engine bay starting to look pretty good. I did notice uh, we got a crack in this headlight here. I changed out the fender already. So this thing's ready for paint and blend. Get all the body panels here. I do have the front bumper here already. You can see just chilling out upstairs there. Still wrapped up. Getting ready to uh, be painted. Waiting on all the plastics to get here. But it was missing. You know, the splash guard was damaged, a couple little pieces underneath. Um, you know, the air dam that cools the brakes and all that stuff was missing on this side. So got those coming down. You know, just doing it right, kind of going through it. And then I did notice on the inside, this thing's got that I drive button on here. Um, so, you know, for the cell phones and all that stuff, it, it doesn't have the cell phone in there. So I got to get that set up for Bluetooth. I believe there's some kind of adapter I could get, but even going through the inside, getting it cleaned up, seeing if there's anything missing, any trim pieces that I need. I noticed this was missing here, but I found it, so i got to get that back on there. Slowly but surely, get this thing back together, get it ready for paint. Got to detrim this door here, switch everything out, get the other door on there, detrim that door, ready for paint, figuring out what I'm going to do with this rim.
right guys, so I'm gonna get this one wrapped up, finish cleaning up all the door jams, anything on the list that I still may need to order, but uh, figure I'd take you guys through this one. You guys like to see content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll probably be doing you know, a couple updated videos on this thing before we uh, you know, make it right before I start driving it. Obviously, you know, between the bumper, get the rear bumper off, send out all the plastic and all that stuff to my guy down the street. He's got a body shop. He could start some of the paint work. I'll get some of the trim work uh, ready, get this door switched out for him. You know, I'm definitely gonna paint the driver's side. Not sure, you know, any other little scratches and all that stuff. I'm gonna have to wash this thing to kind of find out all the true scratches and dents in it, see if maybe paint the whole car, however I'm gonna do it. But I'll make sure I'll take you guys along for the ride. If you guys like to see stuff like this, make sure to stay tuned to the channel. Finish this one up and get out of here for this weekend. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.